What's going on guys? Today we are doing an unboxing and review of the Marvelous Hummingbirds set. You may have noticed I did do an unboxing and review video, a very detailed one of the standard blue edition and that's going to be a link for that will be in the right hand corner if you guys want to check that out. Uh, but I will be opening the gilded versions. I got these recently and I cannot wait to get these opened. I haven't opened them so I haven't seen them in person. We're going to do it for the first time right here on camera. I do want to point out the difference between the gilded and the standard editions, you can tell by the uh, the tuck case, or I guess this outer sleeve here. The outer sleeve pips here, you know, the hearts, diamonds, spades, and clubs. These will be colored in on the front, and then on the back, there will also be uh, colored in as well. So you can see, for comparison, the, uh, the standard edition is just black here on the inside of this little outside sleeve. And on the gilded version, you can see it's colored in, and the gilded version comes uh, numbered out of 225 and signed by Keller O'Neill and Chris Tipton. So that's how you can tell if you have the gilded version or the standard edition and that applies to uh, all three decks. So you can see the color there on the outside sleeve for the, uh, for the purple and red editions as well. So that's how you can tell standard versus gilded edition. Now that we have that out of the way, uh, I guess I'll start with the blue one just because that is my favorite color out of the three. So starting with the outer sleeve, Marvelous Dex, we talked about the uh, the suits, the pips, and how they're colored in. And then there's a little cut here for the Hummingbird logo, Marvelous Details of Life, uh, and then that sign on the back. And so that is the, uh, the outer sleeve designed in the USA. Cards printed in Belgium on a B9 slimline linen finish by Cardamundi and packaged in the US. And you can get these at marvelousdecks.com. Um, and then one thing I do want to point out as well is that these decks don't come uh, with outer cellophane or with the seal on it. As you can see, there is no seal. So it might be hard to tell if you're getting this brand new from a you know reseller. So make sure you guys are buying this either from marvelousdecks.com or from a reputable reseller or retailer. That way you know for sure the deck you're getting is brand new. Uh, but otherwise the tuck is going to be the same as the standard edition. Really nice, pretty blue holographic foil on the front. This is uh, embossed as well, has this really nice texture. Really, really nice all the way around. Super, super bright. Uh, got the Hummingbird logo that we saw earlier. and. Uh, and yeah, so that is the tuck. Open this on the inside. and say the marvelous details of life. And then black tuck on the inside as well. Two hummingbird logos on the inside flap. And there is the gilding. So this is the blue gilded deck. You can see it's really, really nice. It's like a teal color. Uh, matches the, the front of the tuck, obviously, and the card backs look really, really nice and shiny. Um, we have oh, we have an ad card here for it's a holographic ad card the marvelous details of life Let's get this out of the way this ad card here um, And then that is the card back pretty much identical to the card box it Looks really really nice borderless design. It is a subtle one-way back design so you can see they're all facing one way uh, But really nice borderless looking design blue holographic foil and that light shines and reflects off of it. Looks really, really nice. <clears throat> Add in the blue gilding and looks absolutely fantastic. And like with most borderless designs, this is gonna look really, really nice in a fan. And there it is. And then you have that holographic shine. So really, really nice. I won't go into too much detail on everything just because I did that already in my previous video. But this is just to give you guys an idea of what the all three colors look like. There's your Ace of Spades. Uh, again, the holographic foil on all the cards, faces as well. And so here for the spades, you can see that the edges uh, of the spades, the pips, are also in holographic foil as well. So very nice, subtle design there. And then the court cards are custom, semi-custom. So based off of the traditional court cards, but redone and have this really nice blue holographic foil on them. Like the queen has like the little hummingbirds. And so these are really, really nice. I love the court cards. And then the, the ace of diamonds. Uh, the, the red cards, the red instead of the red pips, we have full blue holographic pips. 
on the cards and indexes as well. So really, really nice looking. Again, I'm just going to run through these kind of quickly just because I did touch base on these in another detailed video. But just wanted to show you guys what that looks like. In case you guys didn't want to watch the long unboxing detailed video, watch this one instead. See all the colors and the gilding. Uh, I really love the aces, just absolutely gorgeous. Got the hummingbirds. So that's going to be the deck. We have two jokers, two different jokers. Holographic foil on them as well. Hummingbird themed, which is great. And then a double backer for magic. And then of course the uh, the ad card that we saw earlier. So that's the uh, the blue gilded deck. Looks amazing. Love the fact that there's a holographic foil on the front to match. Gilding looks good. And then in case there was any doubts, the handling, if you missed it earlier, the handling is also really, really nice. And from uh, my other video, I remember that these are traditionally cut as well. So really, really nice. Slimline B9 stock by Cardamundi. Feels great, really, really soft, dribble and fans, absolutely amazing. All right, so that was the blue deck. We are now gonna move on to the purple gilded deck. I think this purple deck is actually gonna surprise me with how good it looks. I think this low key could, could sneak in and take the, the first place for me out of these three decks. And then there is the purple borderless design. Looks really nice. Oh yeah, I forgot. I should probably show this off first. The purple gilding, it's like a dark purple. Looks really nice though. It matches uh, the back design really, really well. It's that nice reflective, a dark purple gilding. Looks really, really nice. Uh, that's what that looks like in a fan. Yeah, this this low key could sneak up on me and be like my favorite color out of the three actually. Um, there's the redone court cards in purple. Looks really nice and elegant in purple. Look at that. Wow. And then instead of red, again, we get the pips and the indices in purple, full on purple. Ooh, looks nice. Those are the diamonds, diamond quartz. Again, the holographic on the black cards. I love these court cards, just so much holographic foil on those court cards. It looks so, so nice. I mean, all three of these decks look just absolutely gorgeous. Like honestly, this is incredible. Uh, oh, even the Jokers are redone with that that purple as well. Yeah, I mean that makes sense. There's the double backer. So yeah, looks really really nice. Low key could sneak in a first place. It's my favorite colorway to be honest. Just like the other ones, feel really really nice. Cardamundi a B9. Slimline stock, like how could you not like that? My favorite stock, easily, favorite stock by far. Um, that is the purple gilded hummingbird deck. And then certainly last but not least, this is gonna be the red gilded hummingbird feathers. Here is the gilding on the, the red deck. Again, matches the, the back design really, really well. Nice and shiny, Looks really, really good. And then for that back design, this almost has like hints of like orange um, and sometimes even like yellow in it, I think, just depending on like how the light reflects off of it. So this one is actually, uh, oh yeah, you can see like right there on the edge, it looks nice and almost like a yellow or an orange. So this one is actually, you know, I think it has a little bit more color to it than the other one just because it's like red with a splash of orange. Um, so that's actually pretty cool. There is that Ace of Spades, and then those redone court cards in red, red holographic. And then the reds are gonna be, you know, obviously, typical reds are gonna be in red. Um, and so this might actually look more, you know, traditional to what you used to seeing. So if you guys are gonna get a deck that you'll use for lots of, you know, game playing and things like that, I probably would recommend this color just because the red suits are in their typical red colors, not like the blue or the purple deck, which might confuse some folks. But all of them are really, really gorgeous. Can't go wrong either way. 
I think I like the court cards on these the most because the red just really, really pops against the black contrast. Um, looks really nice. And then these, the, the reds look really, really nice compared to your traditional reds. And you got that holographic foil. And now you can see the, the corners or the edges of the hearts have a little bit of that yellow gold as well on them. So interesting little touch on these that I think or I feel like is a little bit different from the other decks because those were like just all blue or just all purple, but this has like a little bit of a yellow orange tint to it on the corners, which is really, really nice actually. So yeah, I don't know. I, I, I like them all very, very well. They're all different. Uh, in their own way and they all look really really nice um, so honestly I think you couldn't go wrong with either of these decks um, but yeah they all look equally nice they feel great they look amazing the gilding on this is fantastic I really really like it a lot uh, it has really no effect at all it just it feels buttery smooth despite the fact that they're gilded uh, I don't want to pharaoh my, my gilded decks, so I'll leave these unpharaohed, but I do note that they are traditionally cut from the standard edition ones that I have as well. So just something to keep in mind. And that is the red gilded deck. So there you guys have it. That is the unboxing and review. A quick little look at the three gilded versions. Uh, honestly, I don't think you can go wrong with either one of them. They all look amazing. Love the holographic foil, love the different color variations, semi-custom court cards, uh, feel great, Cardamundi Slimline B9 stock. And you can get these from MarvelousDecks.com. You can get a single deck of the standard edition in red, blue, or purple for $26. And you can also get the gilded versions as a three pack together for $139. Honestly, guys, it's going to be hard for me to choose one of these colors. At first, I really liked the blue, and then I thought purple looked really good as well, but then like at the end, I feel like the red deck snuck in and just kind of stole the show, just because it did have a little hint of like orange or yellow. Um, and honestly, it made the deck almost look like it was like on fire, uh, made the pips really, really pop. And so I think my favorite of the three after seeing all these in person is actually the red deck. Um, but let me know down below, what do you guys think? Which color is your favorite out of these? Do you like the blue, the purple, or the red? I would love to hear your thoughts on these. Uh, link is also going to be in the video description down below for MarvelousDecks.com where you can pick these up. While you're there, you can also check out their 2020 decks, which I did an unboxing and review of as well uh, when they first came out, the Gilded versions. A lot of fun callbacks to what happened in tw the year 2020 on the card faces. So. Really cool deck uh, based on the year 2020 and all the crap that we went through uh, <laughs> in that in that year. So make sure you check that out. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the this unboxing and review. Hope you guys found this uh, informative and entertaining. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Make sure you guys don't miss out on my future videos. Hope you guys are staying safe. Uh, and until then, hope to see you on my next video. Peace. <laughs>